The 2011 Conference Finals are upon us in the 40-year sim. I am many sports gamer. Rockets, Lakers, Cavaliers, Wizards. So let's start doing the sim casting. You got the Cavaliers off to a big lead versus the Wizards. Not looking back. Wood 26, Wood 10. The final score there. Lakers, Rockets are up next. First game in the, at the Staples Center. And the Lakers taking a huge lead now. And we'll see if the Rockets can catch up. They won't. They did, but not enough. Lakers did win. Take a 1-0 series lead. And then we have a closer one. Cavaliers, Wizards. And let's jump in. 82-77. Announcers take it away. I will catch you at the end of this game. Marion passes to LeBron. It loose and taken away by Arenas. He's in with it now. Thomas defending. 17 foot shot on the way. And the call on the shot it sends him to the line. Attacking with reckless abandon. Desmond Mason doesn't care what the defense is or how tight they're on him. He's going where he wants to. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Washington. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And they've also made a point to protect the rim tonight. All game long, they've been challenging or blocking shots. And the first one at the line is good. A flat out Desmond Mason can fly. Someone you pay to watch. Well, he is electric when he lifts off. So he makes both from the line. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Cleveland. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. The pass to Chalmers. From deep. Ariza with the rebound. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Got that bucket. And so far, Arenas is feeling it. Fiery offensive games like this are why they call this man the hibachi. Here's James following the basket by Gilbert Arenas. Odin is up on top. And it's Marion at the elbow. The three from Jones. They grab their own miss. James. And he converts the layup. James has got four points in the quarter. Getting ideal positioning and using it to capitalize on the offensive glass, that's evidence of the strength that LeBron James has. Now, here is Smith. Here's Yao. And that's good. A nice Yow. job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. On the wing, James. the Chalmers. Here's the three. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got assist number five here tonight. Well, LeBron James is clearly a tremendously talented passer. When a guy is open, he'll get him the ball. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Now here's Marion. Out to the right wing. Marion a screen on Arenas. Just five to shoot. But Trey gets good. And the Washington lead is cut to just five points in the basket for Marion. A good look there. And he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Mason the pass to Arenas. And he dunks it right on Greg Oden. Oh, no. Boy, packing a punch with that throw down. Arenas has some serious bounce. Here's James. Ball's not loose and stolen by Arenas. Pass to a reason. The Wizards working the ball around now. 
Here's Yao. Tips it up. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Smith's got five points in the quarter. Nice tip for him there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a tap. And that fourth foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. Fourth personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Cleveland. Shoot two. James at the line for two. And the first one drops. Word has it that LeBron spends over a million dollars keeping his body in shape. I think that's a big reason why he's been able to enjoy such a long career, making that kind of investment into the tool of his trade. And both free throws good for LeBron. Boy, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunities. Arenas against Chalmers. Pass to Mason. Back to Arenas. It's up a three. It's hauled in by Thomas. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. LeBron outside. Goes up from the top of the key. Now Meng pulls it in. yao has got six rebounds now in the game. Mason kicks to Smith to the inside. Marion with the steal. Chalmers against Arenas. Chalmers pass to Oden. And Thomas has it in the corner. Rocket six. Over Mason. Trying to get open is Oden. The Cavaliers again can't hit. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. And Odin sends it back. James against Arenas. James kicks to Thomas. Passes it to Odin. James in the post. He's covered by Arenas. No good from LeBron. Wizards leading by seven. Outside Arenas. Ariza outside. Over Thomas. The Cavaliers pull it in. Odin's got four rebounds now tonight. He's in against LeBron. The pass to Chalmers. Now here's Thomas. Over Yao. Yao with the block. And you have to appreciate the reach of me. Superb at putting himself in a good position there to block the shot. Ariza kicks it over to Ariza. Trying to get something going. And the shot is good. The Wizards are going to win this game. Final score, 106-95. We have to immediately jump into a Lakers-Rockets game two matchup. So let's do that right about now. player, excellent at the free throw line. Nash, the pass to McGrady. Off target from three-point range. And I like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know, I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Here's Nash following the basket by Chris Paul. On the wing, Tracy McGrady. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Nash has got five assists in the game. You know, Nash is an excellent distributor, a phenomenal floor general, great at recognizing when his guys are open. Now here's Paul. The teardrop. Chandler with the block. Nash with it. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Nash has got 14 points here in the second half. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. And another great look at the 2K drop. 
and a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. Here's McGrady. That one good for two. And now a four-point rocket lead. And Kevin, after being unable to find a net in the first half, they sure seem to be a different team here in the second. Exactly. I mean, finding their stride offensively, and they're on top on the scoreboard, and things are looking pretty good for them right now. Now, here's Nash, following the shot by Chris Paul. Nash outside. This is to Wilcox. Shot clock at five. Here's Barnes. Here's Chandler. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Rockets lead by six. And defensively, these guys are looking for answers. Since halftime, they've seen disjointed and out of sync. They have got to get back up with them. Mattier cannot hit. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. Nick Collison's checked in for the Lakers. Nick Collison. Here's Houston now. It's been eight unanswered points for him. It's a lob to the hoop. It's taken away by Collison. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Collison with a screen on name. Oh. Los Angeles with another miss. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. And that one's good, Barnes. Oh, great ball movement there. Lakers trail by nine. Inside, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. Nash against Paul. Tracy McGrady on the wing. Pulls up from the corner. It's holding by Collison. Collison's got his sixth rebound on the night. Ryan misses the ball. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Barnes. Nash against our test. Nash outside. Now here is McGrady. He's tightly guarded. LA has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. To end the run. And Barnes sends it back. And going out of bounds. Last touch by Barnes. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. It's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. Much more intense, more in your face. High energy plays like that one are winning plays. On defense, the Rockets, they lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. Here's our test. He kicks it to Bynum. Locked again. And how about the basketball IQ of Champ? He just knows exactly when to sky and commit to blocking shots. At the line for your Lakers. Bynum at the line for two. And he makes the first. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, because you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. And both of those good for Bynum. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Nash the pass to Wilcox. McGrady up top. It counts. And the foul. Bynum. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And the Lakers making a change here. Thomas has checked in.
free throw good. This will be a Rockets victory. 108-92. 36-15 Mac. We're going to jump right into a Cavaliers Washington Wizards game. Game three. Series is tied at one apiece. We're in Washington. Let's go. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Arenas against Wade to take the lead. Here's Yao. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, it's just so difficult to stop Yao. His size and strength let him go right through that contact. Yao leads. One shot. And that one falls for Yao. Impeccable hook from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Marion up top. Rebound by the Wizards. Yao's got 11 rebounds in the game. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. It's good. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. LeBron passes to Marion. Wade outside to stop the run. Bullseye! Wade's got 34. So tenacious on offense. Wade has a keen awareness. Wins the fire that quick shot. Arenas gets to Ariza. Takes the three. Yeah, tip back in for two. Now he's got 18 points just in the second half. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Wade outside. James outside. Out to Wade. Four on the shot clock. No problem knocking that one down. That's 36 points for Wade. Yeah, Wade is doing what he does best. Finding the cup, playing with that relentless energy on the offensive end. Ariza against LeBron. Odin passes to Chalmers. There's the triple. Oh, no good on that one. And it's Washington the other way. Fast break, here they come. Smith dishes to Arenas. Outside Ariza, passes it to Yao. Over Odin, gets the bucket, and the foul! They get Craig Odin. And when you need points, Yao is a great option. He just goes on the attack. At the line for your Wizards, Yao Ming. At the line for one. One shot. Such a huge figure from a cultural standpoint. Yao is also someone teammates love playing with because of that easygoing personality. Now, here's Chalmers. Kicks it to LeBron. Wade with no one around. No good from outside. Wizards leading by five. Pass to Smith. And here is Yao. And Odin pulls it down. Odin's got seven rebounds in the game. Double team by Wade. Nifty move. Misses off the right eye. And here are the Wizards now. They're on a 14-6 run. And the rejection by LeBron. 
Phenomenal work on defense. James using his athleticism to make a statement with that one. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Really, I have the right play defensively if you can't lock, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. The first one falls. And good on the second, so he makes them both. He's basically automatic from the line. Not the guy you want to send there now. Arenas against Chalmers. Pass the out. Over Oden. Kicks it out to Ariza. A rebound by Oden. Oden's got rebound number eight now. On the out. Chalmers pass to LeBron. Marion set the pick for LeBron. No good that time. Good work defensively by Smith. Washington leading now by three. And out of bounds. The Cavaliers will take it. When the game is hanging in the balance, the last thing you can afford is to turn it over. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. To the middle. And stolen by Yao. Smith dishes to Mason. Yao with a screen on lead. Here's the pass to Elise. Down low. And it's Yao. That time the assist by Arenas. And that's now 27 points for Yao. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for Washington. They have been a wrecking ball defensively. Coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. And, you know, on top of that, second chance points have been a major component for them. And I love the relentlessness they've shown on the offensive glass. Here is Mason, following the basket by LeBron James. He lobs it up. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Passes it to Wade. Good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. No doubt about it. Wade has found the touch right now. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Fires top of the key. It falls. He's such a clutch shoot. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Here's LeBron. Rebound by Yao. And that's an intentional foul. So the Wizards are going to go ahead and win game three, 112 107, and take a 2 1 series lead. Let's see if we will jump into game three of Rockets Lakers. I don't think we do. The Lakers will, in fact, win this one, 113 87. They're going to take a 2 1 series lead, 30 points for Chris Paul. Let's jump into Wizards Cavs game four. And the best away. It's a five-point Cleveland lead. And, you know, guys, Wade is a terrific teammate, always willing to give up the ball and share the sugar, if you will, especially when his teammate is wide open. Arenas. And too long on the shot. And he needs to find other ways to contribute besides shooting. Sometimes you have to learn how to play well when you're not playing well. Now, here's Wade. He takes it in. And that one drops for him. He's got 20. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. You can feel the sense of urgency they have to get this thing closed out as soon as possible. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And when you need points, 
Yao is a great option. He just goes on the attack. And it's Wade penetrating. That one goes. Counter. Wade's got 22 points. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Arenas against Chalmers. 17-foot shot on the way. Yep, right through the net. And Arenas loving the spotlight as well as being that guy to take and make big shots. Here's Wade. Rebounded by the Wizards. Here's Mason. Gets rebounded by Cleveland. Odin's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And Chalmers kicks to James. At the Chalmers. Pass to James. On deep. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. Chalmers has got his sixth assist on the night. Arenas against Chalmers. Sends it back. Gill against LeBron. Pass to Marion. Fires for three. Ariza with the rebound. Washington's won one and two from three point range here in the fourth. Now with a screen on Jones. Marion with the steal. Paid with it. Guarded now by Yao. James, left side. True on the 14-footer. LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and the Cavs take game four. So we have a 2-2 series tie. And the series goes back to Cleveland. LeBron had a huge game. Really clutch. They needed this victory badly. And they got it. Let's see. Uh, game four, Rockets, Lakers. And... This is going to be another Lakers victory. Another blowout by the Lakers. 131-117. So, Lakers really, really uh, showing up. Now, let's check out Game 5. Wizards, Cavaliers. We got a botched alley-oop. We got overtime. So, let's watch overtime of this game. Here, Thomas has checked in. So it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for Washington. On the wing, Arenas, defended by Duhon, to take the lead, and right on target. Good. Arenas has got the first points here in the overtime period for the Wizards. Here is Duhon. He's covered by Arenas. Played left side. Open. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Marching Gortat. First team foul. First team foul. At the line, New York Cavaliers, Craig Oden, taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Odin hits them both. Here's Arenas. He is just playing at a very high level now. Making plays for himself and others. I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, his next assist will give him a double-double. Arenas is so relentless in attacking the basket. Always puts all kinds of pressure on the defense. At the line for the Wizards, Gilbert Arenas taking two shots.
And the first one drops. The more you watch Arenas, the more it seems like the sky is the limit when it comes to his ability. Starting to do things you just don't expect from a guy his size. Both free throws good for Arenas. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Wade on the wing. Launches a three. It's good from long range. Wade's got 28. And Wade, we trust in the big moments. This guy knows how to get it done by himself in the clutch. To the inside. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Odin's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Thomas inside. Reza covering. Thomas passes to Wade. It's stolen by Smith. Mason against Wade. Mason gets it over to a race. That's the pick for Arenas. And the three ball is good. Arenas has got seven points for the quarter. He's so clutch. When the pressure is at its highest, that's when he's at his very best. It's stolen by Ariza. Three minutes gone now. Here in overtime. And Ariza's calm demeanor. Excellent at scoring in key spots. And that calmness helps him. Screen passes to Wade over Mason once again off the mark by Cleveland. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Outside Arenas really left alone that <laughs> now it's a six point Washington lead. Wade against Mason. Marion a screen on Mason. They need this. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And this is why he continue to feed Wade. Because when he flips that switch, there's just no stopping. Defensive foul. Josh Smith. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Cleveland. What's up? That's up, that's up, that's up. That free throw good from Wade. Guys, that was critical. I mean, that's what we're used to seeing out of him, though, at moments like this. Outside Arenas. Pass to Gortat. Over Oden. Gortat misses. He won trails by three. Juhan with the ball. And there's the pass to Thomas. A three-pointer, no good. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Oh, and they're getting away the alley -oop. Not to be a good point offensively. Wade for three. That one, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Arenas. And again, Washington, no good. Cavaliers on offense. Thomas, it's a wide open look. Yes! A tremendous three to tie it up. And that bucket ignites the crowd. And the emotions of these fans right now boiling over after that shot. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Outside arenas.
Screen by Smith for three. Oh, a little chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. And so we are tied again at the end of overtime. Now we're headed to overtime number two. Wade left side. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Wizard. Here's Mason. It's good, and Serenus with the assist. And the Wizards lead by two. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys, and the best game plan right now. It's elementary. Let's keep feeding him. Let him eat. And another great look at the 2K drop. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Now oh, here's Marion. And Thomas has it in the corner. And foul on the... And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. On the way, Arenas. The shot will not fall. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Led by as many as 14 points. And the whistle blows. is going to be on Gilbert Arenas. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And that is a huge draw. That is not who they wanted to see headed to the bench with the outcome still in question. And you hate to have a player foul out, but their depth could be an asset here, helping them weather his absence. Here is Doom. Gorchak with the steal. Ariza with it. Odin picks him up. Inside. Always going up for the alley -oop. Has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Here's Mason. Smith, a tip in on the offensive rebound. Smith's got four points this quarter. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Now, here's Wade. Here's Odin. They get the rebound. Odin a screen on Murray. Yuhan's shot is off. Washington leading now by four. This is it to Smith. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signal is a jump ball here. Gorjot, the pass to Murray. Shot clock at five. Washington needs to get a shot off here. Here's Smith. Three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Marion against Smith. Takes a three. Cleveland the rebound. Hard work on the glass that time. Gives them the ball back, and they get a chance to milk a little more clock. Odin a screen on Murray. Duhon kicks to Wade. Marion setting the pick for Wade. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. A shot by Marion, no good. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball, it's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. Now Cleveland shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. It's to Duhon, the end the drought. Money! And that shot brings them to within just one. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Here's Murray. It drops. You know, the defense has Odin, a screen on stuck. Here's the pass to Wade. Six on the shot clock. Can't hit from 12. And, and, and even though the quarter has been a struggle, it doesn't look like... 
drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point good wrong guy who can run the offense pretty well for him. That concludes a double overtime thriller game five in Cleveland. The Wizards will win 132-127 and take a 3-2 series lead. The Wizards are one game away from going to the finals and spoiling everything for us. You know what I want. We all know what we all want. We want Kobe versus LeBron. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see if, if that goes awry. Uh, let's watch Lakers. Rockets. Lakers are up 3-1 in this series. This is game five. Western Conference Finals. against Nash. Chandler with the block. And how about the basketball IQ of Chandler? Just knows exactly what... Seven seconds left to play in the final quarter. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. This is why Nash's guys look to him. I mean, a knockdown shooter from the line who rarely feels any pressure. And so both free throws are good with us. Houston will win this game as a 3-2 series now. Lakers uh, still one game away from winning, from going to the finals. The Rockets now this series goes back to Houston. So we'll see if uh, they could take this to a game seven. There's a nice shot of Kobe Bryant in uh, his shooting form. Let's, uh, what do we got? We got are we going to be able to sim? I think we're going to sim cast. Game six here between Wizards and Cavaliers. I'm simming it slow. I'm learning from my lessons, learning, my, learning from my mistakes from the previous season, and uh, I'm simming carefully, more carefully than I used to, or at least than I used to last season. 
Here, this is looking like a clear victory for the Cavaliers. Yes, uh, doesn't look like the Wizards are going to be able to come back from this one. I think it's pretty safe to say that is the case. So the, Cav the Wizards are trying to do something sneaky there, but the Cavaliers win. We are going to get a Game 7 there. Are we going to get a Game 7 between the Lakers and the Rockets? Let us see if that is indeed the case. Rockets will not, maybe, I don't know. Does feel like the Lakers got this one, though, which means we have a ceremony to watch, although the Rockets are closing in. Okay, let's jump in. Here's Paul. And contact on the shot, so he'll reach you in the That was a savvy move by the veteran Paul, ensuring he gets fouled while taking the shot. Let's take a moment, guys. Big Blue Chain found the scoring so far for Los Angeles. The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up. And boy, happy. Impressive, and they've done a good job, too, of getting to the foul line. Really been in attack mode offensively. Right on the first, and that increases their lead to six. Chris Paul plays with a competitive fire that is actually infectious. I mean, even in the latter stages of his career, he is still getting it done at a high level. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. And as long as they can keep doing that kind of work at the foul line, this lead will be safe. Spins. Nash the pass to McGrew. One thirty-five left to play here in the fourth. Nobody near Barnes. Sinks the triple. Yeah, you got to respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. Here's Paul. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Rockets shoot in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. Barnes gets the right. Barnes looking around. Pass to McGrady. Get the shot. Rebound by Ron Artest. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Here's Dion. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. 50 seconds left in the fourth. Here's McGrady. Pass to Wilkins. From deep. It counts. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Here's Paul. No good that time. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Mud Brady with the ball. Picked up by Kobe. Nash outside. The pass to Wilcox. Bullseye! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. And you can't get a bigger bucket. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Nash against Paul. They could win it. Oh, no good there. The potential game winner off the mark. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we'll return shortly. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. Outside our test. Lakers in the ball around now. Bryant gets a wide open look. Sinks the three pointer. Kobe's got 40 points. Well, he's filling it up right now. Getting the shots he wants and delivering in a big way. Nash dishes to Wilcox. Passes it to McGrady. 
He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. But Brady's got 22. And how about that screen by Nat? And there is the feed to Diaw. Here's our test. It's rebounded by Houston. Brady outside. Nash outside. Pass to Wilcox to take the lead. No good on the shot. The Lakers go the other way with it. Led by as many as 14 points. Bynum the pass to Atkins. Back to Bynum. Over Nash. And it's off the back rim. No good. And for Houston, they're shooting well. 50% for the fourth. And he takes that one up and powers it through. You gotta love seeing McGrady when he's hot. An amazing score from any spot on the floor. Right with a screen on Nash. Diaz, the pass to Kobe. Nice move. And he lays it up and in. Kobe's got 42 in the game. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now, here is McGrady over Bryant. The shot by McGrady, no good. Now, here's Dia. He's covered closely. Side Bryant. Throws it up high. Stole away. Nice job to interrupt the alley who protects it. A three from Barnes. Good on the triple. Barnes has got the lead up to two now for the Rockets. And I'm a big fan of the awareness of Nash on the floor. A, a selfless player who's just fantastic at getting the ball to his open teammates in rhythm. Timeout called the Lakers. Stolen by Barnes. It's hauled in by Dia. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. That's it five from 18. The Rockets pull it in. Wilcox has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Nash outside. Two minutes remaining in the time. Two minutes. Rebound the Lakers. Bynum's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. He dishes it to Paul. And it's CP stepping up to the line. Looking unflappable. Not much gets to the veteran point guard. changes even in this kind of a high pressure situation. McGrady against Kobe. McGrady kicks it over to Nash. That's good. Great play set up by T Mac. Tracy McGrady. Nash has got 22. Oh, he is just so clutch. Saving his best for when the pressure is at its highest. Paul against Nash. Trying to break loose. Now here's Barnes. Pass to right. I wing. Teardrop shot. A putback. It's good on the putback. 
Well, Brady's got the lead up to five now for Houston. Hey, when this team needs a basket, they look at McGrady, and he rarely disappoints. Paul passes to Bryant. Got it! And he has brought them to within two points. Kobe has been sensational. Nash outside. Buries it from outside. And Nash wants to be that guy to take the big shot. This is what... Diaw dishes to Bynum. Ball passes to Bryant. The Rockets pull it in. And now we decide to foul intention. But John Thomas is... The Rockets managed to come back and win this game in overtime, 130 to 125. So we will get a game seven between these two teams. Here's game seven of Cavaliers Wizards. And man, it looks like the Cavaliers have really woken up in this series and they are dominating. Let us watch the presentation, the ceremony, the celebration. The Cavaliers go into their first ever finals. LeBron, Dwayne Wade in this sim go into their first ever finals as well. So, yeah, let's check this out. And the series has been won. And you can see the elation on their faces. I mean, not just happiness, but pure excitement and joy to be headed to the NBA Finals. A tremendous opportunity now, just four wins away from a championship. Yeah, yeah, and, and so close. I mean, they can practically taste it right now, but, but it's not going to be easy. Those next four wins are going to be the most difficult of the season if they can get them. But no matter what happens, I think the accomplishment of winning the conference championship is something this franchise and its fans will all... Okay, the Cavaliers are moving on to the finals. Are they going to be facing the Rockets with T-Mac and Steve Nash? Or will they face the Lakers with Kobe? That is what we'll find out. Uh, well, right about d -d 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 now, perhaps? Um, yep, Wizards are eliminated. Okay. Sim casting, Lakers, Rockets, game seven. Got to be careful. Don't want to mess this up. Looking like the Lakers are comfortably in the lead. Okay. Let's check out the celebration. And the Los Angeles Lakers will move on. You know, they had to battle through the very tough Western Conference, and they were able to survive the test and earn a trip to the final. From day one, this was their goal. Make it to the finals. But really, this is just the beginning for them. Yeah, it, exactly. And, you know, they'll take a moment to, to kind of bask in victory here, but, but it won't be a long one. They know they've got a very tough opponent coming for them out of the East, and they're going to get straight to business in terms of prep for the finals. Still, they get to celebrate tonight, and they've earned it as champions of the West. There you have it, folks. We are getting what we hoped we would get. Lakers versus the Cavaliers, LeBron and Dwayne Wade versus Chris Paul and Kobe Bryant. Gotta love it. Hopefully, it'll live up to the hype, this matchup. A matchup we didn't get to see in real life. Um, but hey, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get to see it in the sim. I'm sure other YouTube content creators have done a version of this, but this is taking a long time to get to this. This 40 year sim, we've taken. <laughs> we're almost 30 years into this. It's the fact that we're finally at this point. Kobe versus LeBron. The build up to get to this point is something that I'm pretty proud of to have happened for the sim. So let's. Well, next episode, we'll see what happens between these two teams. The finals is next. That's the next episode. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.